Okay, we're back. Hopefully YouTube cooperates, and I'll be able just to go on private, on private, on private, like every day, and it'll be a little easier, so I can actually do this in a day. Um, so yeah. We last left off, I actually ranted about something. <laughs> Oops. It happens. So let us continue, mesdames and messieurs. I just realized, the game takes place in France, and the makers of this game are Russian. Is this a Peter the Great kind of thing? Because I know he was really into, like, European culture. Um. Oops. Yeah, that's what happens if you misclick too many times. Like, I kind of did. I forgot that happened. Let's see. I need a domino. Um. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I kind of went on that little tangent, like, during the video talking about something that I really didn't mean to do that, but you gotta admit, I kind of have a point. There's nothing inherently horrible or great. You could tell, like, you could tell me things and I'll go, okay, you like it, I don't. You hate it. I probably never seen it or don't. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, back to the game. As you can, if you've forgotten from the first episode, basically we were sent here to discover what the hell's causing this mystery illness that's been aging people really fast, and we have to find um, someone, a little girl who pretty much called for our help from the the shadows and mists and stuff. So there's obviously something up. Yeah, we can't do anything with that because because waffles that's why actually can the shovel dig up the uh, thingy here while I think about it shovel's a little too large okay at least it gives you a reason like yeah I don't want to damage this uh, shovel's a bit big dig it It was water, now it's coal. We throw that in. Oh, we don't actually need matches. Cool. We use that. We need a silver note. No other hidden object things. Can't do that. So let's actually go to the theater and actually open the thing up with one of my favorite puzzles. I love these puzzles. S no. No. Oh, close. That one's close. That one's close. So we move that. Down one. We'll move this down one, down one, and down one to see if that works. Yeah, I love how it sounds. Okay, that was right. We don't touch it. Well, that one's right. That one's completely wrong, so it was. This one was. We'll move this up two, down two. That up. That one obviously doesn't go up, so it might go down, 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 up. Nope. That one's closer. Nope. Nope. Ooh. That one's right. Okay. The 
Getting closer. Not close enough. Okay, that's right. Got this. Almost perfect. Perfect. Yay! And uh oh. Yeah, creepy lady has musical teleportation powers. Hi. Once, lest you forfeit your life, this is your only warning. Sure thing, Miss Ancestor of Freddy! <laughs> I'm going in! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna listen to her. She's not my boss! Save us! Open the door! I love that. An ominous fog. Gee, you think? Okay, we need a flute and we need the notes. Of course you saw them before. They're the ones that ate the guards. Hi. Take an eyeball. Don't think, yeah, you need a screwdriver for it. You're gonna have to give me a minute here because I kind of don't really remember which way to go. I can't dig anything up. I think, we, yeah, we, I think the hidden object scene is actually in the uh, building is the next one that I do. Oh no, it's not open yet. Interesting. Well, we don't know where the missing piece is. map features because it actually lets me know okay well there's one more uh, hidden object scene we can check nope wait do I actually have to do what I'm thinking I have to do whatever it is it's covered in leaves I kind of figured that out figure something out. You literally just move your mouse around and see what happens. And now the hidden object scene opens up. Well, let's open this thing up. Over here. And that's what we wanted. The screwdriver. Which makes sense. <laughs> I love this game. And yeah, sorry for like the rubbing and stuff. I get a little excited. Uh, I need to, uh, 
one stop the misclick. I need to learn to control that a little better, I guess, for these, for like later episodes, but for now, I'm kind of stuck with it. But at least we can get the oil now, so yay. I just shifted a little bit. Um, and hopefully I'll actually upload the first part of this so I can just go on private tomorrow and just like do the usual shtick and I'll actually release an order for once. Um, and I can actually double check it on YouTube to make sure it actually runs first. I know the first one does because I checked the video and it did capture. I didn't check the video for the second one for some reason. Um, I should have checked it, but either way, it's gonna be private, so no one's gonna know but me if it, I fucked up. And I'll have to redo the entire video again. <laughs> Which means I'll have to play the entire game. Twice. In a row. I'm sorry, but that's gonna be annoying if that happens, so I'm really hoping it worked. And I'll be very sad. But I won't drip around as much. So I guess that's a good thing. Hmm. But yeah, it's my birthday week. La la la. So I'm doing this because it's my birthday week. I've been alive 31 years. And I still have no idea what I'm doing. I keep thinking that's a tassel, not a freaking lamp wick. Bat and key. Don't think they mean baseball in this case. I probably won't like finish playing this like the night I'm actually doing it right now because I do want to take a hot bath and relax for a while because it's just nice to snuggle up in a hot bath, you know? It's one of those, like, luxury things that everyone should enjoy at some point. And it's not considered a bad thing to do, unless you're, like, a crazy environmentalist that thinks you should take nothing but lukewarm showers. Um, yeah, I do care about the environment, but I also care about my hygiene. Um, you know the joke about dirty hippies? That's kind of why it comes from that. Because a lot of the stuff doesn't really smell that good to people. I mean, some of it probably does, but, you know, I understand trying to be environmental and trying to save water, but after a while, uh, your own body odor does overtake even the strongest perfume, so. And using too much of anything like patchouli oil or something is going to make you reek. I'm being flat honest here. I'm not saying this to be mean or nasty, and I understand, um, like, if I'm just gonna be home and basically lazing about, then unless I really want to, I really feel gross, then no, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna shower then, because that's stupid. you know, give me some credit. That's, like, really dumb. And a waste of time. But... If I'm gonna go out, I'm going to use a legitimate shower. Uh, if I had work every day, I probably would try to shower every day and wash my hair every other day. Because you do have to work in close contact with other people, and you kind of don't want to smell. Um, but I do know there are people that do things like they don't shower, they use patchouli oil, uh, because they don't want to, basically they try to do the most environmental way of not smelling bad, and sometimes, while it's nice, I would really recommend not doing that as a substitute. Uh, I'll be perfectly flat, 
Um, I don't like any perfumes at all if they're too strong, and a lot of people could get sick of them, even uh, patchouli oil. I've never actually smelled, so I don't know if it actually smells bad or not. Um, so, you know, I'm just pointing out the joke, but I'm kind of saying that. So, you're better off just using soap and water. Um, if you can find, like, environmentally friendly soap, that's great. Um, and there are ways of, you know, not overdoing it with the water, too. Um, you know, uh, it's not the best solution, but we have a really efficient, uh, hot water heater. We have to refill it maybe once a year. And that's it. And we're actually thinking of switching to something even more efficient. And we don't use it for anything, because it's like a, technically a house heater, but we don't use it for anything other than the water right now. We have these like semi-eco-friendly air conditioner things that don't, uh, that do heating and electric and they do it really well for the room. We have one in the living room, which essentially ends up doing the whole house, so it's not as powerful as the one in the bedroom, which is, you know, because we do close the doors, we figured. And we are going to get two more, one for the uh, guest room and one for the computer room. Uh, we're not going to bother with the bathroom because it's, it's too small. Um, we have a low-flow toilet that's been installed. We, we actually don't use a lot of water. So water-wise, we're pretty efficient. Uh, there's, the recycling here kind of sucks, so unfortunately we can't really do that. But if somebody says, oh, I want to take the can, so I'm like, okay, fine, go for it. You know, I don't mind them doing that. I will not stop them because it saves me a fucking cleanup. Uh, I try to use, uh, I try to reuse things as much as I can. Like, I do Loot Crate, I get the boxes, I'm using the boxes to store magic cards. Because they're actually good for that. Um, I have one empty one right now. And I will probably use it to store the next set of magic cards I get. So it's not an anti-environmental thing I'm saying. I'm pretty much... I'm more saying don't overdo the environmentalism because there's a limit to what people will put up with. Um... I'm on weird tangent day, aren't I? Because I did, like, one on subjectivity and one on environmentalism and taking a bath. And I just realized this. This is really fucked up. Please excuse me, I'm going to go sweep up some leaves now because I think I kind of- Oh, no, hidden object scene first. But, yeah, I just did, like, the weirdest tangents right now. I wonder what the next one's going to be. I'll, like, I think I'll put in the uh, description for this video, uh, tangent list, uh, subject versus, uh, subjectivity of art and, um... No, subjectivity of fandom. It was more a fandom rant than anything. Uh, subjectivity of fandoms and... Environmentalism and bathing. <laughs> so yeah, I'll probably like do that. Just just to kinda see just to kinda see like what other tangents I go on and how disjointed they are. Um Or see if I actually have a pattern to my thinking today, because I usually don't. I'm such a daydreamer. I love to daydream. Um, I'm gonna avoid going onto a tangent of that, because that's just gonna go into just, you know, hot dog peanut butter territory, you know, hot dog peanut butter stoplight, that kind of, if you watched it, then you know what I'm talking about. Just random words strung together to mess with someone. You don't have the key. Z. And... Death in the theater! Really. The concert to be the inauguration of Edgar Smith. Whoever this Edgar Smith guy is a fucking moron. I mean, his idea would have been great, except he maybe should have checked to see if the music was an evil possessed uh, entity of death. Apprenticing with 
Emily. So I'm guessing that is the girl we have to find. Let's give him. We found the other sheet music. Anyone know where the flute is? Because I think we kind of need that. Feather. Where do I put the... F oh, the using a peacock feather is a duster? Okay. Don't mind me, enjoying the music. Okay, that's not the bracelet. Here's the other dragonfly. That's the bracelet. Okay. Well, that looked like a bracelet. Jeez. See, we need lightning and we need scissors. We need to find, I should say. I found the scissors. And where the hell's the lightning? Oh, there it is. Now, I think this can dig out the uh, plant thing, because I think if I remember correctly, that's actually where we find the flute, which is really... F oh, no, it's the uh, M for Maestro Park, and this is where... Oops. It couldn't just roll open like... Whoop, it has to break! I swear to god, it's like they purposely break everything in these games. You will never find the master's f maestro's flute. Found it. Let's see. I think that one's all the way. Yellow is here. Yeah, um, our character can't play well. Oh, did we break something? We didn't break anything good. Oh, well. And everyone died. Holy crap, I forgot about that. Just everyone's dead. Yeah, it's a killer song. Sorry. You gotta admit, that's fucking true. That, that, that's just ridiculous, you know. Could you imagine dying of music? I suppose a lot of you are now thinking, you know, the, well, the second game in the series is called The Notes of Life. You're thinking, well, that's probably better, you know? Nobody, um, you know, brings things to life. Maybe, you know, it's a happy thing. <laughs> Let's just say I hope you got your insurance paid off with that one. Um, a little, like, hint to the second one, like, already, but yeah. I think it actually depends on how you use the music itself, rather than, um... What the music can do. Um, 
I mean, I guess, you know, the music of death would be useful to get through something like, say, a really thick jungle because it would age everything very quickly. Well, the music of life would probably bring everyone back to normal. At least that's my theory. I actually don't remember how this game ends. I'm sure Miss Kruger is thrilled with me right now. Put this here. And now we get to play the key mini game. Let's see, I believe. No, it doesn't match there or there. No, it doesn't match anything, so this one's a dud. Hmm. This one seems to match. Yes! Ah, this one doesn't match anything. Screw you. Well, we know that one's a dud. Oh, I believe this one matches something. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, actually, you match. You match. That means you must match something. Yep. Two false keys and five real ones. And now we're going down. We have a crowbar. We found a shield fragment. I guess he lost his head over the whole situation. Who the fuck cares if you have wine all over you during this investigation? I swear to god, my frickin' inspector's a fucking wuss. Well, let's put the shield fragment in at least. Maybe we'll find something useful. We'll check the piano in a minute, too. Oops. I keep breaking everything! I don't know if it does a second one actually now that I think about it, but I'll check on it every so often when I get back to this area. Shoo! Okay, we need the valve because somebody broke it. So we need a gaming company. No. We need money for that. So we have to clean off the bench. Okay, we got a bird, pocket watch, that kind of stuff. The usual mess. Granted, in this town it's not really surprising. People probably like scattered like fucking crazy when the notes started attacking, essentially. Um, yeah, as I was thinking, I'm actually, like, randomly thinking right now. Um, so yeah, basically, you know, I'm hoping this is, like, a nice week. Uh, my luck seems to be on an upturn. I don't really believe in luck, per se, but I, it's a good term to use, where at the moment, things were kind of going, you know, kind of shitty, like, you know, like, you know, like, every disaster that could happen kind of fucking happened. But in this case, uh, it's gotten a lot better, so I'm thinking that, you know, things are on kind of an upswing, and next, the next coming year is going to be good, I'm hoping. I mean, I had my fun times, but, you know, it was mostly kind of shitty. And, you know, even at this point, when it's at a point where my husband is going, yeah, because he usually tries to find, like, all the good things, because... I do try to be an optimist, but he's better at it than I am, because uh, I'm the one who kind of goes, oh, for the love of fuck, what about this, 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 and this? You know, I, I guess I'm kind of like a weird hybrid. Yeah, we need to find things. Interesting things. Fun things. Ooh. 
Well, can you really blame him for that? Can we get a symbol for the sky? The statue held a torch. Burn him? No. Ah, hacksaw. It's like we're breaking it out of prison. Yeah, this is kind of why I wish we had a map. I could just fast travel and, you know, this would cut like a lot of time out. Um, so yeah, if you're gonna do a hidden object game, a map for fast travel is really nice. You can use that to drain things. Let's see if I remember how to do this puzzle. Hmm. Oh wait, I think I see how to do it. They're done. Now let's see if I can mimic success with the roses. Oh yeah, that took what, two seconds? Go that way. Hey, well look, we found a game company. <laughs> Actually, we found a hidden object scene. See? But yes, kidding around aside, this is how it's going to go. The one thing I've noticed is that there's not really any danger. I would love to see a bit more danger. How long have we been going now that I think about it? Yeah, maybe I should stop here. Um, so I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!